All right, hey, today I wanna to talk to you about a tool called Unifier. So Unifier, in my opinion, is something that could be considered like an alternative to the tool Cast Magic. Cast Magic is a tool I've been using quite a bit. But when I came across Unifier and AppSumo, definitely wanted to try it out because if you're a podcaster or if you're a YouTuber, it's going to make life a lot easier for you. Also, if you just run business meetings or if you're an education professional, you'll find Unifier could be a tool that could help you out as well. It's got a couple use cases around education. It's got a couple of use cases around business meetings. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at Unifier. This is the page in AppSumo. Just to get some housekeeping out of the way, I am an AppSumo affiliate. If you make a purchase through my link, I'll receive a small commission. Unifier says, transform your content into 30 plus formats and minutes with this AI content repurposing platform. We'll go down a little bit further here. When we look at the at a glance section, you'll see it says it's an alternative to copy.ai, Jasper, and Scrivener. Personally, I think this is closer to a tool like Cast Magic although it does have a very nice way of creating blog posts from your transcriptions that will occur from your video files and your audio files. And so maybe that's why the developer decided to put that in there. But I definitely would have had Cast Magic as one of the alternative two tools as well. Let's just get right to the pricing and then jump right into the tool. So there's three license tiers. It starts at $49, goes up to $249. And this is the key thing that you want to be aware of. You get generations. You get 30 generations per month. I'll explain what those are in just a minute when we look at the tool. License tier two, you get 80 generations. License tier three, 150 generations. And you also get some limitations on how many hours of uploaded either like mp3 files or mp4 files you can upload so your video and audio files at tier one you have a cutoff at two hours five hours at tier two five hours at tier three you just want to bear that in mind when you think about which license you want to purchase and we can talk about which one i think most people would fit into but let's go ahead and jump right into the tool after you sign up for unifier you're taken into this screen where, in this case, you have a project screen. I have one that I set up specifically for my YouTube channel called the Mike Shuey YouTube channel. You can set up projects here. If you want to add a new one, just hit the plus sign. You can add a new project and create that if you want. Obviously, in the left-hand side, you can generate content. It does have some capabilities to add additional team members. You can see your plans. You can see what all your settings are. So typically, this is where you're going to start. You can see right here, I've already done some what they call generations. Let's just go ahead and start one from scratch. Here, you generate content. If you're a podcaster, you may want to filter this down just to the podcast-related items that Unifier can create for you. If you have a blog, you can have Unifier create a blog and a blog outline. Typically, what I will do, instead of looking at each of these individual items and checking off the things that I think that I need Unifier to create for me, I just go to All Content. It just is a lot easier that way. So in this case, with this particular project that we're going to spin up, I do want to have a blog created from it. I'm not going to do the outline. I'm just going to have it create the blog. I'd like it to create some tweets because it is a YouTube video. I'd like it to create some titles. I'd like it to create a video description. I'd like it to create timestamps. If you had a newsletter that supported your particular YouTube channel or your podcast, for instance, you could have it create a newsletter. And let's do that and see what it looks like. The other two use cases are for meetings and for educational purposes. So for instance, with education, let's say you were a teacher, maybe you did a presentation somewhere, you could take that presentation, whether it's audio, whether it's video, you could upload that or you could upload a lecture, et cetera, and have it create lesson checklists, worksheets, that kind of thing. I'm more interested in the use cases that 
are, are around social media, around blogging, and around podcasting because I have a YouTube channel and I've got a plot and I've got a podcast. So let's go ahead and generate this content. Click generate content. And first, you've got to upload your source material. I think the best workflow for Unifier is when you take your exported MP4 or MP3 file and upload it first, and then take all of these artifacts that I checked off that we're going to look at, and it's going to create for us, and then use those when you upload your podcast to your podcast host or when you upload your uh, YouTube video to your channel. So let's pick a file to upload. I'm going to pick this one. Upload that. Then it'll show you your progress. When it's completed, we'll talk about the artifacts and review those. And you can see the quality of the output. All right, the upload is almost complete. I would say that this took a total of about three and a half minutes. This happened to be a file that was an MP4 file for about a 12 or 13 minute video. It's at 100%. Then it takes you to this particular page. It tells you how many generations you have left in your account after you've completed these. You can go through. And remember, I had wanted Unifier to do the blog, the tweets, the YouTube titles, the video description, the timestamps, etc. And so this is where understanding how generations work is important. You get 30 generations, I believe, at tier one. So you just want to be aware that let's say you have a YouTube channel and I do about eight YouTube videos a month. If it takes me five generations for each video to get this information that I need, you know, I'm going to need more than 30 generations at tier one. I'm going to need a higher tier. So if you want to use this for every single video or every single podcast that you create during a month, you probably do need to start looking at license tier two to make sure that you have enough generations to support your content creation. I'm going to pull something up so we can go ahead and look at exactly what you get for generations. So the one thing that Unifier provides is it does provide you with a page that tells you how much content do I get per generation. So you can see how many generation credits you use when you create things like LinkedIn posts, carousels, tweets, uh, long form tweets, etc. So when you go into Unifier, what I will do is I'll put a link in the video description to this particular page and you can go in and review how many generations you're going to expend for each of these particular items. If you ever have any qu questions about the generations that were completed for your particular account, if you click down in the bottom right hand corner where you see the Unifier icon, you'll get a chat window. Uh, I've been chatting back and forth with the developers there as I've been going through the tool preparing to show you what it can do. And they were very prompt about answering my questions. And of course, in AppSumo, you have a place where you can also post questions and then have the developer from Unifier get back to you. But let's go ahead and take a look and see exactly what was created from those artifacts that I selected. The very first thing that Unifier created for me was a transcript. This is just the transcript from the video and you can go in and you can read it. It's a word for word transcript. I asked it to create a blog post. So this is the blog post that I created. Note it's 3,662 words. Now, the one thing that I would like to say about this is I was really impressed with the blog posts that were created from my audio and video files. Cast Magic has a long form blog post creation tool, which I have been using for some of my blog posts at mikeshuey.com. I've always been a little disappointed that the posts were so small based on the fact that many videos were 12 or 15 or 20 minutes worth of information. For example, this particular video that I created was about SEO writing and the introductory hooks that you can use in seowriting.ai. Maybe you've seen that video, but it goes through here. You know, what is an introductory hook? Why use them? Types of introductory hooks. And it's all very well put together. You can craft intrigue with question hooks, how to formulate an engaging question. 
it took my example where I talked about here's here's what I would put in if I had a question that I wanted to add in my blog post to try to draw readers in. It put this title together automatically. Example, attract hummingbirds to your garden. And it says, let's look at a practical example to understand how a question hook can be effectively used. So I don't want to read through all this, but I just want to impress upon you that it did a very, very good job of creating a long form blog post for me. And so because of that, I plan on using this tool for this purpose a lot, just because it does such a good job at putting this stuff together. And I've got a couple other projects. We'll look at some of the other output from it too. If you simply want to just take your podcast or your YouTube video and turn it into a blog, it just does a very nice job formulating this for you. It doesn't mean that you can just post this to your blog without doing a little bit of editing and reading through it, but this tool so far has given me the best blog posts from an audio and video file of any of the other tools that I've used. So I've used Cast Magic, I've used Exemplary.ai, and of course, Unifier, in my opinion, is by far the best tool at that from a blog post standpoint. I asked it to create some tweets because you do a podcast, you do a YouTube video, you're going to want to go out to Twitter and let people know about it. So it gives you all of these different tweets that you can use, YouTube titles. This is, of course, a YouTube video, so I always need a YouTube title. When you upload a video to your channel, you got to come up with a title. It's a great productivity tool that's going to allow you to spend more time creating podcast content and YouTube content uh, instead of the sort of the, those mundane tasks that get really old and really boring, which is coming up with titles and trying to take a transcript and turn it into a blog post, etc. This is what you would use as your video description. It even adds sections like, you know, resources mentioned in the video, special offers. It even remembered when I talked about the offer with my 25% discount code for SEOwriting.ai. It's not perfect, right? I'd have to rewrite this and make sure I put in my specific discount code and some information like that. It even puts together this contact information section. And of course, you have to have a disclaimer in YouTube stating that, you know, if you have affiliate links, that they're there. It even put together this little disclaimer. So it's trying to do all those things that a person would typically have to create. But what else did it create for me? So the timestamping feature, I think, is excellent. And Cast Magic, which I use quite a bit, has a timestamping feature. This timestamping feature is better than the Cast Magic one. It's more complete. I'm going to be using timestamps out of Unifier, and it's going to allow me to put these in the descriptions or maybe uh, as a pinned comment, which helps people just jump right to that section of the video that they're going to be most interested in watching. Now, if you have a newsletter or you've thought about starting a newsletter, one feature that I thought was really good in Unifier is their newsletter creation tool. So if you see here, I've cl clicked on newsletter and this is what it created. Mastering the Art of Introductory Hooks with SEOwriting.ai. You know, for a newsletter, what will you learn? What's an introductory hook brief? Creating your hooks, key learnings. I mean, this is just a nice short little newsletter that you could send out every time you do a video or a podcast to whoever signed up for your newsletter service, right? Not everybody can always watch your videos, or maybe they just skipped over one. They didn't think it was something that interested them. But if you send them the newsletter, maybe they read a little bit and go, okay, now I'm going to go out and watch that video or listen to that podcast. If we go back over here to my YouTube channel projects folder, you can see here it is. If we look at this one, I did on a tool called Flipner, and I asked it to, of course, give me a transcript. It gives me the transcript. Here are all those YouTube titles, great YouTube titles. There's always going to be something in here that's going to be a good title. Uh, in this case, I asked it to create some YouTube tags. And so it created the tags, video description, very good video description, very complete set of timestamps. I love that. The timestamping capability is great on this tool. And then here are some of the tweets that it 
created for me. If you're in one of your projects and you need to generate some more content from it, you can go in and ask it to generate some more tweets for you. If you did want a different video description than this, you could always generate a, additional video descriptions, YouTube tags, YouTube titles. It'll generate all those for you again if you want those. Well, that's Unifier in a nutshell. Again, very impressed with the blog tool. You know, I sort of walked through this blog already, so I'm not going to do it again. But that to me is worth its weight in gold. I'm going to be able to almost take these and put them on my uh, website very quickly, very easily without a lot of editing. So this is very cool that it does this. Um, it's so far the best tool that I've found for creating blog posts from either a podcast file or a video file. Here's the pricing again. I think most people will need to be in at license tier two. I just really think that if you're doing at least two podcasts a week or two YouTube videos a week, you're going to need 80 generations because you're going to typically use between five and eight generations per video upload. Let's say you use eight. Well, if you do two a week, that's 64 generations that you're going to need. I, I think you probably would want to be in at license tier two. And if you're doing like three YouTube videos a week or three podcasts a week, you definitely want to be in at license tier three. Bear in mind, if you are doing really, really long form podcasts, you are limited by the amount of hours that you can upload in the license tiers. So bear that in mind. If you are doing these you know, hour and a half long podcasts where you've got lots of guests, and you're going to um, go 90 minutes or a couple of hours, like the Joe Rogan length type of podcast, you will blow through those hours and, you know, maybe two or three podcasts. So that's where the big limitation would be for podcasters is if it's going to be something long form, that could be an issue. Typically, people that, are, that run YouTube channels don't have many YouTube videos past a half an hour. But it does happen. There are some long form YouTube content channels out there. For those channels, just bear in mind, you've got the hour limitation here. But again, I think at license tier one, if you're doing one podcast a week or one YouTube video a week, that could possibly work for you. You probably will get close to going through the 30 generations in a month. So that's why I recommend license tier two or license tier three. I really like the tool. I think it does a lot of great things. So you've got a ton of different options here to take your audio files, your video files from for your YouTube channel, for your podcast, and repurposing that content into a lot of different artifacts that you can use for social media and that you can use for your website or your blog. And then if you also have a newsletter and you have newsletter subscribers, a really easy way to create a newsletter based around each one of each one of those pieces of content. That's Unifier. I hope you found this helpful. And until next time, take care.